Tonight, what is likely the end to a mystery first dug up five summers ago? That's when a construction crew unearthed the remains of a woman buried in a Victorian era casket, a casket that wasn't supposed to be there. But without a grave marker, it was impossible to identify the woman, so authorities decided to use genetic markers to solve the mystery instead. News Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse is in Sanford tonight with more on how they did it and who they believe she was. Hi, Sean. Brian and Amanda, this afternoon, a local historian and DNA researcher said they believe they've identified those remains that were first unearthed by construction workers nearly six years ago. They say her name is Edith Patton. Well, it's very exciting, and I'm, I'm just really happy that this person isn't going to be forgotten anymore. This was Paul Auger in 2017 after a construction crew discovered a Victorian era casket and human remains at the site of what's now a new Cumberland Farms. Now nearly six years later, that person isn't forgotten. They've been identified as Edith Patton, who lived from 1867 to 1891. The power of making DNA connections and how important science is in our lives and the development of science in this field. OJ, a local historian and teacher, partnered with the nonprofit DNA Doe Project in an effort to find the girl's identity. The site where she was discovered was once the Emerson School's playground. Before that, it was Sanford's first ever high school. And before that, until 1906, the Woodlawn Cemetery. Researchers were able to piece the puzzle together, finding DNA matches of relatives her father, Ferdinand, had from another marriage and historical documents that shaped their search. I think the two most important pieces of information were probably the divorce records that we found and then that 1900 census where we knew that two of the children of Lois and Ferdinand were deceased by that point in time. And that sort of gave us, you know, a focus of where to look. For OJ, it's a mystery he's worked to solve for nearly six years, calling Wednesday's announcement something he'll never forget. It's exhilarating for me because everyone deserves to be remembered. Brian and Amanda OJ says that those remains are likely going to be decided where they'll be buried by the local leaders here in Sanford. Now, two options would be the Oakdale Cemetery, where several of those caskets were relocated from the Woodlawn Cemetery in the early 1900s. Also, a cemetery in Augusta, where several of Edith Patton's relatives have been buried. Sean Live Stackhouse. in Sanford tonight, Sean Stackhouse, New Center, Maine.